creating an email account lofty goal in this lesson you will learn about the following internet requirements for an internet connection uses of internet getting to know email email addresses how to use an email program getting to know email getting your own email account oh today is my friend's birthday i forgot to send greeting cards to him why are you worried you can send e greeting or email to wish your friend this can be done by using the email service internet internet is in fact the biggest network of computers in the world it is a technology which connects millions of computers across the world by means of cables telephone wires or some wireless media of communication requirements for an internet connection to connect to the internet you need the following a computer cable or dsl modem router an internet connection web browser software uses of internet there are unlimited reasons for which people use the internet the ability to communicate with people all over the world quickly and economically has made it very popular some of the popular uses of the internet are searching reservation online education employment communication e-banking shopping entertainment getting to know email you may know that email electronic mail is a way to send and receive messages across the internet but do you know how individual emails are sent or what the cost of email are or how email compares to traditional snail mail understanding email what is email email is a way to send and receive digital messages and content over the internet snail mail versus email email addresses to receive emails you will need an email account and an email address also if you want to send emails to other people you will need to obtain their email addresses it's important to learn how to write email addresses correctly because if you do not enter them right your mails will not be delivered or they might be delivered to the wrong person email addresses are always written in a standard format that includes a username the at the rate symbol and the email provider's domain the username is the name you choose to identify yourself and the email provider is the website that hosts your email account some more some businesses and organizations provide emails with their own website today the top 3 web mail providers are yahoo microsoft's hotmail and google's gmail these providers are popular because they allow you to access your email account anytime through their websites without charging any fees how to use an email program in gmail you will learn how to sign up for an email account navigate and get to know the email window perform the task of composing responding to and managing email set up your email on a mobile device it's a useful course for learning the basics even if you ultimately end up choosing an email provider other than gmail such as yahoo or hotmail now we are ready to create an email account please tell me how we can create it let us access one such website that provides email service to create an account you will need to provide some information about yourself get your own email account in gmail gmail also called google mail is a free email service provided by google in many ways it is like any other email service you can send and receive emails create an address book or do other basic email tasks creating an account step 1 go to www.gmail.com step 2 click create an account step 3 you will now need to fill out a form with your information first type your first name last name and your desired login name you can click the check availability button to make sure that the login name hasn't already been taken step 4 type your desired password just like with any online service it's important to choose a strong password step 5 choose a security question and the answer to your security question 
Gmail will also need a way to verify your account. Step 6. Then, type your location and birthday. You will also need to type the word verification that you see below the birthday. Step 7. Finally, review the terms of services and click the I accept. Create my account button to create your account. As you finish, Gmail shows a congratulation window. Step 8. To go to your account, click on the Show Me My Account button. When you first create an account, you will be signed in automatically. Click Inbox to read mails. Inbox is the main folder where all the incoming mails are stored. Signing in. Step 1. Go to www.gmail.com Step 2. Type your username, your email address and password and then click the Sign In button. Sign In button to log in. Sign out. Step 1. In the top right corner of the page, click your email address and select Sign Out. Sending an email. When you write an email, you will be using the Compose window. This is where you will add the email address of the recipients, the subject and the body of the mail which is the message itself. Composing an email. Step 1. In the left menu pane, click the Compose Mail button. Step 2. You will need to add one or more recipients to the To field. There are two ways to do this. Click To and then select one or more recipients. Then click Done. Type one or more email addresses separated by commas. Click 2 to select recipients from your contacts and then click Done. Step 3. Type the subject for the message. Step 4. In the body field, type your message. Step 5. When you are done, click Send. Gmail will send the message and then switch back to your inbox. Send the email. Put the email address of the person you want to send the mail here. Type the subject of the email. Click here to send a copy of email to others. Click here to attach a file. Type your message in the body text box. Sends the email. Some more. If the persons you are emailing to are already one of your contacts, you can start typing their first name or the last name. Gmail will display the contact below the To field. Adding Attachments an attachment is simply a file, such as an image or a document, that is sent along with your email. For example, if you are inviting your friends for a party, you might send invitation card as an attachment with the body of the email being the cover letter. Adding an attachment Step 1. While composing an email, click the Attach a File button. The Open dialog box will appear. Step 2. Choose the file you want to attach and click Open. Step 3. The attachment will begin to upload. Most attachments will upload within a few seconds, but larger ones can take longer. Step 4. When you are ready to send your email, click Send. Some more. You can click Send before the attachment finishes uploading. It will continue to upload and Gmail will automatically send the email once it's done. Which one is correct?